trigger warning. I will not shoot this poem while its hands are in the air, i.e., I will not make this poem surrender to my force. See, I used to stay up at night stalking poems, trying to pin them down and take from them what they were not willing or ready to give. But this poem, this poem has a right to say no. This poem is not weak and helpless, i.e. this poem is taking self-defense classes, you know, just in case five random judges try to rob it of its value by hitting it over the head with low scores. This poem is not ladylike, it is not Stepford wife, it may not always be made up and quaffed to perfection, it's ink smeared lips may slur curse words and dirty jokes instead of sweet metaphors into your ears. This poem may just smack you on the ass and demand that you write down your phone number on the fucking scoreboard. I repeat, this poem is female, but that doesn't mean it is not capable of taking physical advantage of male poems. In the same breath, that also doesn't mean that this poem is not capable of killing this stage. This poem will not stay in its place i.e. although this poem is going second, it will not walk ten steps behind your poem, it will not speak only when spoken to, because this poem says whatever the fuck it wants, whenever the fuck it wants. This poem, this poem is a misfit, i.e. this poem is not concerned with becoming one of the cool poems. This poem may or may not fit your literary criteria, i.e. this poem may not be featured on Button Poetry, and this poem is absolutely okay with that, because Buttons, Buttons usually close things up in this poem. This poem is wide fucking open. This poem is a whore. This poem is a whore, i.e. anyone could get it. This poem is not what's trending. This poem is not what's trending, i.e. it will not comb headlines, Facebook posts, nor Twitter feeds for its next fashion statement. This poem is not a current event. It is not a hashtag, pound sign. This poem just is. This poem doesn't identify with what you call a feminist i.e. this poem does not sing the praises of Annie DeFranco nor Beyonce however it does belt a deep raspy ode to Harriet Tubman, Angela Davis, Fannie Lou Hamer and Asada Shakur I repeat this poem is woman, black woman to be exact therefore this poem is aware that our poem struggles are not quite the same this poem is not a racist your scoreboard is or your poem is. I.e. this poem sees the way you walk into an open mic and how you clutch all of your slam titles and accolades when you have to share a stage with it. This poem loves black poems, but it also has white poem friends, so it can't possibly be racist. This poem doesn't possess the power to oppress your poem, because whether you admit it or not, when you walked into this slam, you already came here with white, I mean male, I mean slam privilege. This poem is not politically correct i.e. this poem would rather go out in a blaze. See, the last time this poem was cautious about what it had to say, it still didn't win the fucking slam anyway.